I have the A3 set up temporarily out here in the yard and uh, I've been on a couple of plastic saw horses and I've hooked up a uh, MFJ 259 to it just to kind of get an idea if it'll even try to resonate here on the ground and it actually shows pretty good just walking alongside it Keep in mind, we're only about three feet off the ground here at best. But uh, even with that, it does uh, does show that it's trying to resonate. This is a view looking at the front of the antenna. over here to my analyzer. And as you can see, I'm actually, for 20 meters, I'm showing resonance around 13.7, but that's, that's because it's just too close to the ground. So it's coupling with the ground. Now if we run up here to 15 meters, as you can see, it dips nicely there at 20.9, so it's just right outside the band. And then for, uh, for 10 meters, it actually dips out about 28.2. So, that close to the ground, getting uh, resonance, no problem. And uh, once we get it up in the air, it'll end up about uh, about 30 feet off the ground. So, it should work just fine. So, that's uh, the Cushcraft A3 tri-band 10, 15, 20 meter. Yagi Beam from taking it out of the box to temporarily putting it together here on the ground and trying it out. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll have one here shortly when uh, we uh, put it up uh, in the air. Thanks for watching. 73's Mel WA5 UTK San Antonio.